Hello and welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. In this video, we'll look at how to use a digital multimeter to measure the voltage between different points in a circuit. So here's the circuit we'll look at. We can measure the voltage across the resistor, the voltage across the LED, and the voltage across the whole circuit. For a non-auto ranging meter, connect the black test lead to the comm jack and the red test lead to the voltage stroke ohm jack. For an auto ranging meter, the leads are permanently connected so you don't need to do this. Set the rotary switch to the desired position. As the voltage supply is a 9 volt battery, the maximum voltage across any two points in the circuit should be no more than this far. However, you might find that the voltage across the battery's terminals is slightly more than 9 volts. It may even be just over 10 volts. So initially at least, set the rotary switch to a voltage range that includes voltages just above 10 volts, so say 20 volts. Also, Make sure that you select DC voltage and not AC voltage. With an auto ranging multimeter, you just need to select voltage on the rotary switch. The device will be able to cope with any voltage values within the specifications of the device and should be able to automatically deal with either DC or AC. If it's not already switched on, switch on the multimeter now. Also, Make sure that the circuit is powered up. I seem to have a dodgy connection here, so let me just sort that out first. Okay, that's better, it seems to be working now. So, using the probes, I can touch different parts of the circuit to see what the difference in voltage is between them. It doesn't matter which way round you use the probes, you'll get the same reading. Read the voltage value on the multimeter's display. Your voltage reading should be approximately, across the whole circuit, 9 volts, across the LED, about 2 volts, and across the 470 ohm resistor, about 7 volts. Voltage is the difference in electric charge between two points. So if you put one probe on the positive terminal of the battery and the other on the negative terminal of the battery, you'll get a reading of about 9 volts. But if you put both probes on the positive terminal, for example, you'll get a reading of 0 volts because you're not measuring the difference in charge between two different points. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.